Hi friends, it's Dylan, and you're watching Toy Lips. And today we are taking a look at the brand new UNSC Checkpoint from Wicked Cool Toys World of Halo. United Nations Space Command. Space! With Spartan Gunger. Gun... Gungir? Gung... G an elite mercenary. Dude's fallen out of the package anyway. Let's help my brother out, eh? Mm -hmm. Getting right into this thing. Is these boxes, I mean, suck worse than any. It looks like this one's actually stuffed full, but give me like some, some cool stuff here. Shrink that thing down and like show me what's happening with this toy. This toy that I bought right here. Let's just take a look though. Let's tear into it and see. At this point, I have a whole bunch of these Halo figures and vehicles, and this scale is what got me into toy hoarding in the first place. This is the first set that I've had any problems with, but it doesn't deter me. You'll see what I mean as we go through piece by piece. Okay, the UNSC checkpoint set comes with everything you see here. You get a Spartan and a Sanghili, and uh, you get these really nice sort of props here, cases that do open, but why, Lord, why? Would you make these little hinges? You can see that stress mark on that plastic latch. It tabs in there like really heavy duty. So you kind of have to tear it out. And I'm afraid, honestly, it won't survive, you know, more than a couple of opens. You can see that's already stressed. I haven't even messed with this one. You could put stuff in them, but you'll want the stuff out anyway. So you might as well just leave them as boxes. I believe they do stack. It's nice crates. Um, no, they don't stack. They just have, you know, whatever, whatever. Nice. Real, uh, real light plastic pieces. You get this killer shield over here, all deployed, and this weapon rack. This is like, this is this is the really nice piece here. Comes with all of these weapons on it. Flip it over. Same thing on the back, so you could port more in there. You see how it works with all the weapons? The way they have those pegs on them. You can just peg those in however you like. Wish it had little peg holes on the bottom though, just to sort of mount on this base. Otherwise it kind of has to float on these were you to put together a big field, which having so many now, you might. You might be into that kind of thing. Eh, see what I mean? Whatever. No, I don't remember where I was. Uh, here you get this nice mounted gun. This thing is detailed really well. Just a couple colors of paint. As, you know, is common, you'll have less detail the smaller the scale of the figures. We're not trying to make excuses. It's a fine time. You get this sniper rifle. <laughs> and rocket launcher. Covenant weapons consist solely of the needler. These are fun. You might have a couple already. You might not be able to get it to focus on it and just won't stop staring at that dude that's leaning way over now. We'll get into that in a minute. Look at these nice clear plastic inside. Kind of brushing some of these guys out of the way. You get this Elite Mercenary. He is very similar to the, um, the regular Elite release. Different color, different armor. He looks much thicker in the package, but he's not really that much. Uh, nice little detail here at the face. I really like how intricate these are. All the way down to the little feet. The uh, the design of the hands is really obnoxious. Oh, this one's not so bad. Oh, okay, okay. They've uh, they've done something about that. I'll show you on that single card release. It's bizarre. Anyway, um, they articulate fairly well. This is just on a ball way up here, hinged in there like that. You can look down, look up like this. Shoulders are ball jointed as well. It'll rotate all the way around on that sucker. Comes up a little. You get restricted by various armors in various ways, depending on the figures in this line. Three and three quarter scale. They are going to be a little bit delicate. Just a single. It's just like a, a ball in there joining both parts of the arm, and you really, that really doesn't come together very far at all. Hand 
same thing. They just, they've really gone all out balls out here, if you will. Uh, how these, how these work. You get a little bit of torso articulation, just one split there, and that will spin all the way around. A little bit of crunch, the nature of the thing. Down here, these are just out on these balls, and these will pop off if you pull too far to the side. Um, it doesn't have an upper thigh cut, but it does twist independently on that. They're just so small, you're really going to struggle to try to get that to move independently of the thing. And you get another hinge down here, making this sort of a single jointed knee It'll collapse back up that far. And because of that single joint, it will it'll pivot off of that. Then you get another joint in here, like they're cats or something, you know. So this thing, and it'll rotate around in there. And then there's even more articulation at the foot itself. It looks like a hinge in there, but it doesn't move back and forward on it. It just kind of rocks a little bit. Be careful with these. Because getting over to the Spartan, G -g 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 -g, whoever he is, he's pegged on this thing. We've already broken his foot. Let's just, let's go into that first. He looks really nice. Whatever they call him, he looks exactly, it's the same model as like the white one. Uh, other releases, they just added some special pieces, different head. But anyway, the, the foot articulation is on this um, this ball here. But it's incredibly, incredibly stiff. And it's just the tiniest little peg holding that thing together. You can see where that broke there. Um, this other one is on the verge too. It's, it's very, very loose. But they're incredibly stiff and difficult to move. I applied heat to the thing. Had them all gummy. Tried real hard to move it around. Got to the point where I thought the kind of plant the foot is how I figured best to try to articulate these. And you could try to move him forward or back. But this one is, it's just, it's so stressed out. I think it's going to break too. I mean, these are, these are well heated. They're broken in and I just can't get these to go. Just for a quick comparison, we'll bring in this guy who is, you can see it's, it's essentially the same armor. Sure. Call him something completely different, but, uh, these actually move really well. They, they have like little ratcheting areas to, to sort of hold, to support the figure, which is nice. They have good rocker, but I, I don't know that it's mounted on that same tiny, tiny peg. It doesn't, it doesn't move like it is. It may be, but these are nice. Whereas these felt impossible to break free. And so, like I said, I applied heat, got it to move a little. And this one, I mean, it's just, it's loose. It feels like it's on the verge or maybe that's just the nature of it because the peg is so small. So that's really disappointing. Shame on you, Jazzwares. Wicked cool toys. You know what I mean? I'd say where's the quality control, but I think Jazzwares proper uh, does those Fortnites, right? And I bought one of those Midas toys on a clearance and his arm tore off. Same thing, applied some heat, but it just wouldn't move and I ended up tearing the arm right out. But that toy sucks anyway, so whatever. Uh, otherwise, though, this is the same basic Spartan we've been seeing at this scale. Not too shabby. Really nice armor detail, plain colors of paint. He gets these these unique overlays that that make him an individual, you know, and the different head, the gunger, gunger, gun, gunger, gunkaroos, whatever. Sorry, I do like me some Halo, but you know what I mean. You're just repainting the same one and calling it something else. And his foot doesn't even work. Come on, come on. I, you know, I could try to move this one. It, it'll break on the camera, I'm sure. Look at that though. That's attached by freaking nothing, dude. Give me a break. <laughs> Unintentional. Anyway, so that head is just pegged on there, and it really it, it looks up just the tiniest bit down pretty well. Shoulders, ball jointed, spins all the way around. Doesn't have a bicep cut there underneath all of that. This is a slightly softer plastic. Shoulder, or elbow, single joint there, doesn't quite get to 90. They're just heavy armored savages, you know. They could benefit from little tiny double jointed elbows if they wanted to. And this is on a hinge here. Just stuck with the static hands, no trigger fingers on these little guys. Real plain looking uh, overlays, it's just a single color, but you get, you see like grenades and I don't know, magazines, it's hard to tell with the way that it's just the flat tone. 
The other interesting thing if you played with these, even the larger scale ones, is you have this sort of diaphragm cut, lets you look forward, backward, and there's some kind of waist swivel, but it's it's almost nothing, you know? What is that? Bread basket here, legs on pegs. And again, it, it is independent, so you do you do get this uh, upper thigh rotation if you can get it to spin independently of that. It sort of works just by binding up against it because they're so tiny and tight. Double jointed knee gives you good range. And uh, yeah, down here where this is obviously, this is insufficient. Let's try to set up a little checkpoint. So you do get a lot of nice prop pieces here. The bases, I don't really care. I'm still warming up to that. It's just kind of as needed. But maybe if you had a bunch of them, you could build something consistent. There's just a lot of different looks to a lot of those pieces, and it'd be hard to find enough that match. Anyway, this you know, the shield and the weapon rack, and I mean, it's, it's kind of worth it just for that. And these figures are generally pretty sweet. It's just watch out for bizarrely delicate joints from Jazzwares, man. Dude's rolling up with his needler, you know, it's the only covenant weapon. It's like, who throws a shoe? Honestly! The Spartan stands about four and a half inches, and the Elite is about five and a half. I believe these are supposed to be three and three quarters scale, but of course the Spartans are much larger. The Master Chief is like seven feet tall or something outrageous. Bringing in some other friends, a Grunt and an Elite. You can see they all scale pretty well together. They look really nice. It's fortunate some of them that they all come with stands because some of them have a lot of moving parts on the legs. And this is what I was talking about on the hands on this guy. Look how they all just kind of wrap all the way around there. That's really obnoxious. You really have to peel all that stuff apart just to get that in there. Why would you do that? It looks like they have the same basic sort of head sculpt. It's real minimal, but you see they got all the way in there and painted the eyes and the teeth. And here we have the chief and a regular marine. Just for fun, that marine is just at four inches. So scale, who knows, who knows. For a couple of four inch Fortnite toys, we have the bow-legged business buster and the spunicorn. What do you know, the guy missing a foot falls over. So drunk he fell right out of his shoe. And how about some smaller scale at Marvel figures? I did love me some MU. Crimson Dynamo and I'm cured! Charlie over there, X-Men 97, whoop! She-Hulk and X-23. And you can see from this 10-year-old Jen Walters figure that no double-jointed elbows or bicep cuts on modern Marvel Legends female figures is definitely a scam. Works just fine here. Look at that. Look at that hinge right up, man. Good stuff. And back then, everyone was trying to get in on the small-scale party. You can see from busted Justice Superman, though, DC, they wanted your money, but they didn't want to put in the effort. And this poor little endoskeleton, it's sweet It's sweet Terminator stuff, though, and he's got little red eyes I just, I couldn't pass. I've also got to burn up one. And finally, for that silly six-inch size comparison, we have the Marvel Legends 2 Emo for Pizza Spider-Man and the Marvel Legends Morning Coffee Mostly Bucky Cap Deadpool. Space! All right, overall, I'm pretty happy with this set. What I get out of these World of Halo scale figures is not just figures, but vehicles and, and accessories and diorama stuff like this. I think it's fantastic. So if you could find this at regular retail, about 25 bucks, I definitely say go for it. I mean, you get a couple of killer figures, that would be about the price to get those guys anyway. It is really disappointing about the foot that I broke his foot. I wish, in general, action figures were sturdier. It's not It's not universal. The Hasbro stuff, man, is super durable. Whatever they're doing, you could bounce those guys off a wall. You know what I mean? I think that's really silly to have that peg so small and those joints so tight. I've got literally hundreds of those MU figures, also by Hasbro, from over a decade ago, and they all work just fine. They all work just fine. I used to bounce them off the wall as a party trick. It's not going to sour me on these toys, just... Be even more careful. Or or don't. Smash them with a hammer. Run them over with your truck. <laughs> it's all good, as long as you're enjoying it. We also used to get hammered and use them as the avatars for board games. Those were good days. 
If you want to see more and help me keep doing this thing that I love, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot if you made it this far. Thanks. I got bigger than my lips. Toys that I'm touching, I don't wanna put them down. I said I don't wanna talk about them. Yes, fresh. Smell the plastic that I crave. I wanna shop like if we have a Bruce Banner. I'm Dr. Robert Banner, I'm Bruce Jenner. And you can call me Dr. Jenner. We can talk comic books, but we're here to talk toys. Be proud, make noise.